Hi, welcome to Mr. Otter's studio. Today I'm going to show you how to paint a watercolor galaxy. So this is the night sky with stars and we will also paint a silhouette of some mountains underneath. This was a requested tutorial and these are the supplies that you will need. You need watercolor paints and I'm using a Prang eight color set. You need paint brushes and I'm going to be using this three quarter inch Windsor and Newton flat brush and I'm going to be using a number 10 round brush but use whatever brushes you have. You need watercolor paper. I'm using this Canson XL watercolor paper. It's 11 by 15 inches but I cut it in half. So my paper is five and a half inches by seven and a half inches. Paper towel. I always like a scratch piece of paper. You can use use masking tape to tape your borders and a toothbrush. This is going to create our starry sky along with white acrylic. Now some people have used white acrylic ink which might work better than this. More people have access to the white acrylic paint so that's what I'm using for this tutorial. And you need a palette or a paper something to put your white paint on and water and that is it. So let's get started. If you're left-handed go ahead and move your paint set over to the left side of your paper and your water. If you're right-handed just keep it on the right side. Make sure you're using the right side of your paper. One side of the paper is textured like this and the other side is a little bit textured but not as much. Use the side that has more texture. This part is optional. Use your masking tape to tape the edges. Once you've put your tape on the borders, go ahead and use your finger to smooth it out just to make sure it seals. Let's go ahead and start with the wet and wet technique. I like to just drop a little water into my colors. So just go ahead and put a drop in your black, your violet, and your blue. And what we're gonna do is paint our whole paper with water. Paint the whole thing so it's really, really wet. It's a good idea to tape your paper to your table or whatever you're painting on because when we get it really wet, it's gonna start to warp. So this will keep it nice and straight for us. And the wetter your paper is, the better. Let's get started. So go ahead and grab your black. I like to use black and then I just use a little bit of color around it. Since that's so dark, I want to make sure this is just as dark. So I had paint in my water, but that's okay. So go ahead and grab your next color. It could be purple, it could be black. I like to paint black on first and then I just kind of border it with my purple and my blue. And then see, I don't really love this dark line right there, so I'm just going to take black and mix it in with my purple and then go along the edge. Here, let's just maybe add black first. Just painting black and then blue. And if you get these harsh edges while it's still wet, just go ahead and go over it with your wet brush. Or you could grab color, like I could grab some blue. You wanna be careful not to overwork your paper and not to create a big puddle in the middle. So I'm trying to be careful not to add too much water when I'm coming back over this. So what I like to do is lift my paper up. If I stand my paper up this way, the colors are gonna to start to bleed down just a little bit. You can just keep moving it around until you get the effect that you want. And if you get a little pool of color along the bottom, just get a dry brush, and then you can just go along the bottom and soak up that color. And the nice thing is, we're gonna choose which side is our sky, so I might choose this side and I might choose this side. Let it dry, and then I'll show you how to add the stars. So I'm gonna use this as my sky. I just like the subtle color. These ones are a little bit more abrupt. Now for the spattering technique. The tricky part of this technique is that when you flick it with your toothbrush, you do not have control over what happens. And sometimes it can go in like a long line, some blobs will drop down on it, so I like to flick it from the bottom. If you're worried about the splatter technique, just grab a piece of construction paper and practice on it. So get a plate or a palette and put your acrylic paint on it. I'm gonna add a little bit of water to it. This is to just make it a little bit thinner. So just make sure you've covered your bristles nice and well with that white paint. You might wanna just drip it a little bit onto there. And then what you're gonna do is just use your finger to flick that paint off. So I'm just gonna run my finger. I'll just show you from the side. And that's how we make our stars. So just take a piece of construction paper and practice flicking your paint. Once you've practiced and you're ready to start on your paper, dip your paintbrush, cover it in acrylic paint, get some of the drips off, and then start flicking it. The hardest part for me is to know when to stop. Also, I would use your paper towel to wipe away any of these big spots on the bottom. We're gonna be painting a mountain here, so it's okay. You can set this outside to dry. You can also use a blow dryer to dry it. If some of your stars look like these ones that are long, when you flick the paint, it's easiest if you're over the top of your paper like this, instead of flicking it at an angle like this. Let it completely dry. Now let's paint in the mountains underneath. I'm going to be using my small brush, and I'm just gonna be dipping in black. So make sure you get a nice, rich black. We're gonna be painting over acrylic paint, and 
and you want to make sure it's nice and thick so it'll cover it. If you go over your acrylic paint and it kind of bubbles off like this, you can go over it again. So you can dip it in your water, but make sure you're using just solid black. I like to look at my paper and decide, okay, I have some mistakes here. I definitely want to paint over this. And I might want to show some of this down here. So you want to kind of stay in this bottom third. So I might go down, up, and then come away down over here. And this is up to you how you're doing these mountains. So fill in below it with your black. Don't worry if you can see some of your acrylic paint. You can do another layer and cover it up. Once you've finished doing the basic shape of your mountains, come along the top and you can make some details. It almost just looks like grass. So just use the tip of your small brush to add some details along the top of that mountain. This is optional. And then you can look at it and make any adjustments you need to. You could make a taller hill here, or maybe we could have come up a little bit taller right here. After your mountains have dried, you can take off your tape and just be careful not to tear your paper. And that's it, you're finished. You could add a moon to this, some stars that are sparkling. Your assignment now is to try this on your own and try using different colors or use a silhouette of something else. Maybe it's not a mountain, maybe it would be the silhouette of a person standing in front of it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Have a wonderful day. We will see you around on YouTube.